Greetings, my Guild of Glorious Gargantuans. It is I, Griffior, and we are back with Dragon Age Inquisition. So, last episode, we covered a few conspiracy plots. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. And right now, we're trying to find out what's going on. That way, we can save the Queen or the Empress. I guess she's a Queen, technically. Uh, Batter Journal, go ahead and take that. Man, all these people are dead. Like I know, like I know before we came in here, they said that, but I just can't. I didn't think like all of them would. Okay, so mm, okay, hold on. Let's uh, check that really quick for Sarah or Cole, actually. Let's see. Well, she's got that. Let's see. That's one fifty-six. Uh, let's see. What is that? One sixteen. Okay. What about Cole's current armor? One hundred five. Okay, that could be definitely used for him. Okay. Just want to keep, you know, everybody steadily upgraded when uh, it comes along. Okay, so more dead people. Wow, that is insane. Okay, so. I need to get back before I miss. Oh, come on. I'm going to lose the. Oh, shit. I'm going to lose the entire court approval by the time we're done with this. This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? That would appear to be Grand Duke Aspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> what the fuck? Venatory agents! That must be the Venatory leader. These guys should go down fairly quickly. They're only level four. Well, I mean, we're level 13 and 14, so we're all good. Okay. Venatory, we're watching this approach. They're organized. Okay, so we probably need to get out of here. Or, well, no, we can continue exploring, actually. Go ahead and lock him down if we can. I want him running away, but he probably will. Nope, we got him. Okay, try to get through this as quickly as possible. Man, imagine if we were under leveled. Like, you know, we'd probably be losing all the approval. But, huh, where do we go now? Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna go towards the objective marker. Oh, wait, there's a door here. Okay. Grand Apartments. Oh, come on. It catches a chair. Go ahead. Try to take out these guys as quickly as possible. Man, Solus, man. His uh, rift magic scary. Okay, head up the stairs. Go ahead, pull all these guys, aggro them on me. If I can hit one of them. Okay, there we go, there we go. Come on. Okay, well, I'll probably lose all my court approval by the time we're done with this, actually. I mean, I'm trying to run through it as fast as I can. him all the way up here how does like how do the like why are there no well I'd say like the Venatory have killed all the guards that were patrolling this area that or like all the guards are guarding the Empress during the ball but you know oh look a statuette I wonder if we can just come well, I mean I mean I might like after the let's play is done, come back and look through things, but I'm not sure. It's fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Kadash. What an historic moment. The first Carter thug in all Fedas invited to court. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. I'm glad to meet you finally, Ambassador. 
Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Divinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? If I did kill him, what would you do? <laughs> well, I wouldn't believe you, for one. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Mm, yeah, warn Celine. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. All right, so we can get a bunch of elven spies for us. So, I mean, if uh, the crap Gerard, if he dies, I think that's his name. I can't really remember. I'm thinking of other stuff, but if he dies, we get the army of elven spies and uh, the uh, the empress's uh, help or full support, rather. So I guess that's all for this area, actually. So I guess we just gotta head back as quickly as possible, where we lose all of the court's approval. And try not to pull those guys over there to us. Please, like, auto-equip all the fashionable stuff back on, because I don't want to go back through my inventory and do that. Ooh, an elven agent. Okay, they're just doing their thing. Oh well. Okay. Gaspard, that's, that's what his name was, Gaspard. It's hard to remember stuff sometimes, you know? Well, I mean, for me, anyway, I'm kind of dumb, but you get the point. Okay. So... I wonder if, like, if I did a bad playthrough, if, like, the Empress could actually die, you know? Okay, sweet, I got all my stuff automatically, uh, you know, on me. Okay, so I need to go to the trophy room, apparently, if I can. Which I just, which I just walked by, but, oh well. what they say you're the inquisitor are you not we heard stories of your accomplishments some of those might have gone a bit far I told you Philippe not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell it's an inspiration uh okay yeah if you like commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle he's in the ballroom ready but I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Okay, good. We got some approval. And we're going to lose it in here. Oh, wow. That's pretty... Cool. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Secret documents. Okay. Statuettes. Uh. More statue. Well, we got half, almost half of the statuettes, so that's good. The question is, like, are they really that useful? I mean, I mean, like they open certain areas of the of the world, but you know, 
Okay. Heading back in here, and I guess we return to the ballroom and confront Gaspard. So, like, did he invite the Inquisitor, or, like, are we with him just because it'll look good on him? We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Okay. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. I've never thought the Carter could tell one human from another. Just how much do you know about our civil war? My advisors keep me informed. One would hope the Inquisition's leaders had a proper understanding of politics. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I think I can agree with that, yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? Uh... An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orla. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the court approval I can. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? Okay, ladies and waiting. Oh, well, you shit. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Uh, let's see. Well... Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. No. No, I don't, uh... I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. Uh... Oh, God. 
You're asking me to decide what's best for Orle. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orle to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. Oh my god. I think probably Briala, maybe. Yeah. Um, oh god. So, it could, well, we could pick Briala, but I have a feeling that someone planted his dagger. You know, why would somebody kill someone with their own dagger? That's what I'm, and leave it there anyway. Saving the Empress would mean Corypheus wins in some way. Uh, Gaspard, I just, I don't even trust him in all honesty because he's been neutral throughout. But, Briala does support the Elves. She does trust the Inquisition to a certain point, I believe. Oh, man, the Empress is just the Empress. It doesn't, well, I mean, you know, ah. I'm, I'm thinking Briala more than likely. Can I just pick Morgan? Can she just lead, please? No, damn it. Um. Ah, God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. I need more information. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Okay, so I could have majorly fucked up right there by picking, by making a choice. Oh man, okay. Where is that lazy elf? Okay, so where do we need to go exactly? We need to go through that door. Let's head in here, man. This uh, I, I like I like this a little bit. Like you have to think really hard. That's what I liked about uh, Warzamar with the whole political uh, gain thing. You know, that's something I really enjoyed. Hold on, let me eavesdrop here. Okay, whispering. I had no idea. Okay, I already did that one. That was just whispering. Okay, hold on, where exactly do I need to... Okay, on the other side. See if I can get in through here. Oh, wait, we can ease drop right here also. Probably more whispering, though. Yep, whispering. Okay. I had no idea. Uh, okay, royal wing. Oh, sweet. I didn't think we were going to be able to get in here. Oh, come on, load. There we go. Okay, that's nice. They're all equipped, except for me. Sorry, let me do this really quick. And then we got a uh, armor, and then we'll be set. I need a new helmet. But, like, the only schematic I have is that stupid hat. I mean, it's not a stupid hat. It's just not fit for a, a warrior. And for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful. Oh, this one needs five statuettes. Okay. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going in here. Come on. Let's see. Would this one open? Yes.
Out the window. Oh, thank you. Are you alright? I'm... I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Let's see here. Investigate. Uh... Briala told you to come to the swing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Oh, yeah. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Okay. God, this is... <laughs> Oh man, it's probably going to take a while for me to think about all this stuff. Okay, how many do we got now? Five? Okay. So we can probably open that one door that was back out there. Let me check this really quick. Uh, okay, grip, our uh, Nah. Okay, so I'm going to head back out here and open this door. We, what do you mean? I have... Let's hear one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, no, because it takes away one, I think, every time you use them. Never mind. Okay, so, let's see, where is this going? What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. Okay, so yeah, there's the way back to the main room. More dead bodies, man. Oh shit. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. I had a feeling you were mixed up in all this. Such a pity. You could almost be our legion. If you were just a little quicker. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight. And I would hate to disappoint him. Uh... Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. You don't have to go through with this, Florian. There's still time to turn back. Oh, my dear Inquisitor, you are so naive. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. Whoa, there was a lot more dudes here. Where'd they all go? Like, seriously, where'd they all go? There was, like, I was standing against a wall of them, now they're all gone. What the hell? Okay, let me go ahead and disrupt this rift really quick. That way the big guy can be stunned. Easier take out. I don't know where Solus is walking to, but he's going. Okay, so there we go. We got a little bit of free time from that stun. Come on.
I haven't seen one of those, uh, a wraith that does ice damage, or was it this thing? No, it was that thing, the despair demon. Never mind. Like, I saw the, uh, the wraith hit me, and I was like, oh, he's, he has ice powers. Okay. Okay, let's close it. Alright, so, five material on the royal wing to blackmail Gaspard. Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Tell me everything you know. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough. Fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Sticky, punsy cheesemongers. I need you to tell that to the Empress. We're after one assassin, right? Should the rest just queue up? Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Okay, so we got dirt on two of them. So, God, so... I don't know what to do exactly. I really don't, I'm trying to think, like... I mean, we could take two of them down, like, you know, politically-wise. I mean, one, they're going to court or whatever to be killed. Examine inscription. Okay, um, I'm just trying to think of who needs, like, who's going to take over. That's what, that's, that's the hardest thing for me. Like, I wonder if, like, if I support the queen, like, if she'll die, if Morgan can just take her place anyway. Okay, I can't see shit. All the colors at once are hard. Okay. Still losing court approval. Alright, well, watch out guys. Let me through here. Okay, one more area from the looks of it that we need to go through and then we'll be good to go. Okay, there we go, the Grand Ballroom. We can only hope so. so are they working together or what? See here. Allow the Empress to die before don't know. The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. I feel like they're playing a huge game. Like her bringing herself out and saying they like she's going to do it. That someone else is. Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies. As a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Thedas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years, so shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! Now! Poor Corypheus, kill them all! Colin, protect the people! Yes, Inquisitor! 
Well. <laughs> okay, so I wonder what's going on. Like, I'm, I wonder, like, if it's going to be a battle in the gardens and all that. But where, where did the uh, Empress go? I didn't see her run anywhere. That's what I'm wondering about. Her royal guard took her somewhere. Or something, hopefully. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimond. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud Defenseless of woman, my ass. You got a goddamn bow and arrow. We have the palace. Surrender your grace. You don't have to die today. <laughs> you can die later in my place. Now. Oh, you poor deluded thing. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Okay, let's kill this bitch. Come back, Florian. Don't you want to dance? So I guess we gotta take out these uh these little guys first, and then we get our turns at killing or hitting the Grand Duchess. Or actually, hold on, can I uh where'd she go? Oh, well, where is she? Maybe I can pull her with my uh, chain ability. Maybe. Oh no, there she is. Come here, damn it. Ah, oh, she's immune to that. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? Let's see if I can't pop this really quick just to hit her really hard. Good thing about it is it locks her in place, too, because she has to absorb all this damage. That or unless it's like another instance that she's trying to get to. Yep. So she stayed there and absorbed all that damage regardless. Why is she immune to that? That's not fair. Okay, so she's halfway down. Or below half, actually. Okay, come on, armor up. There we go. These guys are pretty easy to take down. I mean, like, I like these enemies, honestly. They're all acrobatic and shit. If I could hit one of them, that's probably the only hard part about them. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Duchess. Oh, come on. I need to armor up, actually. Oh, the Duchess is almost dead. Fuck that. We'll just kill her. Come on. Is she dead? Did we kill her? Yeah, we killed her. Okay, gold. Hook blade. Sacrificial dagger. Silver ring. Ooh. That could be used for uh, Sarah. Whoops. Okay, so we'll grab that also. Okay, wow. Okay, this episode went on a little bit longer than expected, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. We killed the assassin, but now we have to decide who leads Orle and Ferelden. But anyway, or my, it just might be for uh, Orle. I'm not 100% sure on the politics here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the Guild of Glorious Gargantuans, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.